This building is uh, now the center for dance, apparently, but it used to be, as indicated by this arch, Maison de Duction et de Travail pour les jeunes filles. So something for the education or whatever of young women. And now, ironically, I think I am coming up by sheer serendipity to the same statue that I started with this morning. I'm taking this video of the statue that I saw at the beginning of the morning um, in the latter part of the afternoon, actually over past five o'clock. Uh, I just by serendipity ended up here. But I think it may give a different perspective or sense. The canteen on his back looks of recent vintage, but the sword is curious. The bedroll over his pack seems curious also. I wonder if there's any significance to his finger pointing forward on this hand. forward and down. The young boy is looking straight ahead. The man no longer can. He has been shot. Probably in the right shoulder or something because he's folding back to the right. Looking up at the sky as he goes back over his right shoulder and the boy is still looking ahead over my head somewhere way behind me. Does it illustrate the young? The resistance, picking up the weapons after, uh, as the other soldiers go down in defense of his country. Is it a resistance statue? At first I thought this design in the wall would be difficult to get up, but actually it's got a sloped top here. It may make it harder to get a grip. Well, 60 years, something or other, plus or minus. Today, at this hour, it may well have been that this little town was liberated from the Germans, even though they didn't really occupy it, but this area was. At about 11 o'clock this morning, the cathedral bell rang for what must have been 10 or 15 minutes, which I think is unusual. I think it reflected uh, some point of time that was memorable such as that. And these people are portraying that as they keep these vehicles alive. I wonder how much they think about this time. I wonder what it really means to them. You can't find out if you can't speak the language fluently. Orange patisserie, patissière. Orange air, patissière. This is Place du Patrice, du Patrice, and I'm just showing it because I'm starting today off by walking down this road. I had made a loop on the other way and came back down this road, but now I'm going to go up here and turn to the right and start wandering around and circle back to the right. Just for kicks, I wanted a picture of the skylight, which they use quite a bit. Strange little car, I don't know the name of it. Oh, it's a oh, Citroen. Oh. Looks like it was made out of used tin can parts. Well, well, at first, this looks like it's being torn apart. My real guess is that these are materials for construction in here. It'd be interesting to know what they're going to do. Look at these large slabs. Could be stairways and the other could be just plain building blocks or they could be the um, driveway but it's dilapidated looking building so I guess as it's bought and set for reconstruction this is perhaps the way a building looks before it's restuccoed and painted or restuccoed I don't think you paint stucco this fellow up there working on this one now looks pretty nice a few drawers away is a new building going in which will probably have that same look. 
So it's got some degree. It answers the question of how do they get all the rock for these bu buildings. They really don't. The uh, cornerstones of what look like big cornerstones are probably just half inch. These must be apartments, at least on the top. Boy, they sure look like a Stalinist type. <laughs> you see, it's a school. So, that accounts for its dormitory. Piece of whimsical artwork at the college. Some would argue that this is a very wasteful way to spend my time when traveling abroad. And perhaps they're right. Um, well, I certainly agree that you should almost always make sure you see the major sites. Sometimes this kind of thing to me is my search for what's really going on in a community like this. There are people up there spending a Sunday, well, a holiday. Uh, having lunch or something out on the patio. And a day for getting the laundry done. But there's little things I notice. The satellite dish over there. And yet what looks like an antenna on this house. Maybe tells me something about the people inside, maybe. This is another huge section in this part of town of these uh, big old ugly apartments. Hopefully on the inside they're done nicely. But it does account for where people of average means in this very expensive area seems to me. There's one that looks either newer or better kept. And it's underground parking or under the building park. This is a local park kids to play basketball and don't know if I can get through there though it's open. School of maternity or maternity school and that's appropriate next to all of these apartment units. This is a primary school next to the school maternity school so this layout's almost like mine is at least the concept's the same except they own a lot more units than I own. This is one of the posters around town um, announcing the 62 anniversary of the debarkment, the Normandy invasion. Today's the last day for it. Now looks like there's some other entertainments later on. Music and dance. Next Sunday, the grand part. I'm going to go over and take a look at this. It's like a bocce ball field. Two more soccer fields. This sign warns that the driver does not have the right of way. In other words, the driver on the inside of the circle already has the right of way. This is a very strange looking monument. Can't even make out what it is, except it probably reflects some kind of headdress, or I mean necklace. It doesn't get any better as I get closer either. The thing that's interesting is it's made up of, it's a stack of different colored stones. And they're roughly done. Some of the stones, some of the stones look polished. But the uh, post itself is uneven. So the area out where these apartments are is actually quite nice with uh, lots of big expanses of, uh, of grass and trees. Like this one here is pretty. And there's a mix around it at least. Uh, all of these soccer courts of uh, those apartments and uh, a little more upscale houses or apartments. This looks like a bike path, but I don't see anybody on it. Hmm. This is very much like a, like a small Walmart. It's a combination of uh, food and everything else. And I want some apples and a couple of bananas. This is a clever little trick for holding the bottom of the flag down, so it's always flapping right. I'm guessing the word means surgeries.
building right across the street from the cathedral is interesting because I forget what they call it but it's because it's composed so much of wood um, here all of the decoration is also in wood which is curious I if that's Adam and Eve Unfortunately, if they have not done something to protect this building, they will lose it because you can see it disintegrating structurally right there and on the floor above it as the wood shrinks, does whatever, and gives way. There is some supporting stone at the very bottom, but not much. Who is this saint that has the snake? his feet or this angel mermaid but probably some kind of mythological early goddess like dowels sitting out of those windows that would have held little shelves or flower pots or something. You can see some dowel work in, in there too that is disintegrating. 